We are learning new information about the fire that tore through a hotel in Lyman. Seven guests escaped the blaze, but the building is almost completely destroyed. Our Dylan Thomas spoke with the man who called 911. Nearly 24 hours later, the fire still is burning in some locations here in Lyman. It's being described as the city's biggest fire ever. And to give you an idea as to how hot it got, this trash can right here in the middle of the parking lot even melted. Saturday morning, just before four. I saw some fire like three or four feet going up from the roof. Michael Viegas, a resident of the First in Gold, called 911 to report a fire. By the time the first responders arrived. Flames had spread through the trusses and were moving its way down the hall corridor. It was devastating. The flames were 40, 50 feet high. Seven local agencies from across eastern Colorado responded to the First in Gold, one of Lyman's largest inns. Fortunately, it was a slow night. There was very few people here at the time. We were very fortunate. Assistant Fire Chief Tara Christie said first signs indicated the fire started in the center of the U-shaped building and spread quickly. Think about all the furniture, the mattresses, all the bedding, you know, chairs, all that's combustible. It doesn't take long for a fire to get going. Crews remained on scene throughout Saturday battling the hot spots, saying they plan to monitor the fire through the weekend. Though they needed help, Lyman Fire was thrilled to save a third of the structure in what they described as the city's largest fire ever. We're told this is one of the cheapest and nicest places to stay for extended periods of time here in Lyman. One man told us he had agreed to pay $800 a month just yesterday, and when he came here, he found it left in ruins. Now he's left with only one other option to pay $1,500 a month. In Lyman, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.